The streamer awards just happened. And let me tell you, brothers, it's uh, incredibly cringe. Straight face gag all the way. It's a bunch of friends giving their friends awards. Twitch streamers take themselves so seriously, they're making their own Oscars Golden Globes show, except they don't have Ricky Gervais or somebody funny. They got this abomination. When I first saw that Kai was in jail, I was like, that guy has got to stop giving away PS5s. Bruh, these are all your friends. You invited these people. And that's the best you could get. But I convinced Aiden Ross that I'm a rapper. I went to his house for about 10 seconds and well, the entire show is paid for. All right, we get it. He got robbed. But where's the punchline? Where's the funny? I can't do it without a sponsor, boys. I'm sorry. This video is sponsored by Hawked. Have you ever wanted to embark on an epic adventure in an all-out PvP slash PvE action shooter while being in the pursuit of treasure? Well, then Hawked is the game for you. Explore a new and exciting uncharted world today and traverse Exile, a world full of dense jungles, gorgeous beaches, and ancient ruins. Collect enough glyphs, unlock the treasury, and then head on over to the extraction point to get the ultimate payday. Hawked is launching on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on February 15th and is taking the gaming industry by storm, featuring awesome game modes, whether that be solos, duos, or three-player squads. And not to mention, it's 100% free. It does not require PS Plus or Game Pass subscription. But if you are subscribed to PS Plus, you can claim the Plunder Pack for free. Hawked is also super customizable with hundreds of different options. This one's my favorite because it's straight swag. Hawked also does massive giveaways on their website, including PCs and consoles that are doing a huge Twitch drop event until March 7th. Find fortune in an epic adventure by downloading Hawk today for free. Link in the description and pinned comment. Guys, YouTubers are on the bottom of the social hierarchy. The amount of good we do for society is basically nil, but streamers are even below that. They're in the straight up shadow realm. Other than like three outliers, it feels like a lot of these people are just people that started streaming early. Twitch doesn't have a recommended system or any algorithm, so they basically like got their friends in the mix. Like why the hell is Kaide nominated for Gamer of the Year alongside shroud she literally plays one game <laughs> just a lot of cringe best fps streamer three valorant players wow it's almost like valorant's not the only fps game in the world this show is stupid last year i was accused of selling porn to children what the fuck what the hell it's literally 30 seconds into your show after taking a fansly sponsorship at least that makes some sense guys i was shocked so to avoid the same accusations this year I had to turn down some sponsorships. Just take the Fadsley sponsor in honor of chess boxing. Come on. No sponsorship from Kick. Question, you're not even invited. You're just a virgin hater. Uh, yes. Honestly, I wouldn't go to that event either. Queso wasn't there. And, uh, you know, realistically, there was no form of transportation that could have gotten him there. But there could only be one winner. Kaisen. <laughs> Kaisen. <laughs> My brother in Christ, your friends made the show. It's not that deep. It's not that cool. It's not like a freaking Nobel Peace Prize. These awards hold about as much value as Sal's Employee of the Month from Impractical Jokers. It's literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Kai locked himself in a fake prison for seven days with celebrities like Drewski and NLE Choppa. Twitch streamers have become so influential. So influential, they got NLE Choppa. I'm quaking in my boots. You can give that dude a Big Mac meal he'd get on your show. Until I see Drake twerking and swinging his meat on the show, I don't care. Call me when you get Drake. That Kai is putting more famous people in jail than Jeffrey Epstein. This person has the comedic timing of a spaghetti noodle, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. You know, decent attempt at a joke, but, you know, why bring up jail when talking about your only black streamer, huh? Not only that, she mentioned the PS5 riot earlier, so that's her best material for her black friend, just like jail and riot jokes. You know, fair enough, it's her friend. Everybody say hi to Ludwig, look at Ludwig. <laughs> How you doing, Ludwig? You look great, and you're wearing a you're wearing Balenciaga Crocs. You know, sometimes the joke just writes itself, really. You know, Balenciaga's never done anything sus. Wow, look at that! Give it up for Ludwig, Hassan Piker, ladies and gentlemen. If I speak, I am in in big trouble. I'm not too political, but why are you platforming people only from one side of the political spectrum? The literal hard progressives. It's so weird. It's like you're pandering to a certain type of person. I'm surprised they didn't have a drag queen award. <laughs> Reasons, that's a joke. Comedic relief. They also spelt it's Timmy's name wrong, but in their defense, his name is like really spelt weird. And the winner of the best variety gamer, Queso. I love how XQC didn't even bother to show up. There's just like an empty chair where he's supposed to be, but uh, you know, Queso winning does, uh, you know, make my heart warm. I love that guy. So, what I will say, X. Guys, I, I can make it then. Where's the camera? 
If you get an invitation to the Oscars, Oscars. This isn't the Oscars, though. It's nowhere near the same thing. Nobody of value is watching. 600,000 viewers. Yeah, 600,000 dudes in their tidy whities Jobless. In my opinion, watching live streams is incredibly boring. Like, I would rather just watch, like, you know, packaged, edited highlights where I could see the best stuff. But, uh, you know, of course, there are exceptions. These are the only three streamers where you, if you watch an hour of their stream, you're gonna get some good content. And I vouch for that. Most of the time, you're getting a live Hassan reaction. You're getting some absolute boring slop fed to you. Twitch streamers are basically e-homeless people. They're just e-begging for money, trying to stay afloat and pay their rent. It's quite sad. They're like street performers. But instead of holding cardboard and begging for food, they're bending over it in front of their whiteboard, thanking you for the sub. Yes. Oh my God. Lazarus, welcome. Let me put you on the chalkboard. Why was Ninja kind of cooking back in the day? Bring back the old Ninja. To be honest with you guys, I wanted higher viewership this year. So I'm resorting to desperate drama tactics. <clears throat> hey, Quackity. You're an asshole. Now, what the fuck have I watched? What the fuck? Desperate drama tactics. Each. <laughs> Tina Kitten, f you. Dream. That should do it. Okay, that was pretty good. You know, caught me off guard. You know, pretty good. With the overturn of Roe v. Wade, Hassan might have one on the way too. You've got a reputation. Don't blame me. It's not my fault. Bro Ludwig's doing too much. I understand that's his girl, but if my fiance acting like that, I'm sending her back to the kitchen. I promise. I'm keeping her there. I just don't see where the punchline is. It's like very expected. There's no twist. You know, there's no shock. It's like he's gonna have a kid. Like, ha ha ha. Initially, I thought this was some five head meta irony, but upon further inspection, they take themselves seriously. They're literally comparing themselves to the Oscars. If you get an invitation to the Oscars, Twitch streaming is also parasocial in nature to a point where these people literally have to make videos telling their autistic audience that they're not their friends like i'm not making it up basically what this video boils down to is that uh, twitch streamers cringe youtubers better four legs good two legs better <laughs> Foral of the story these people aren't that funny they take themselves too seriously they barely provide anything of value to society and uh, quite frankly they're actually a detriment they're basically just a bunch of court jesters and clowns which behave goofy and silly for your entertainment which is uh, you know essentially what i do but i can't do it live because i'm not funny Invite me to your show. You guys need a real Sigma mail to show you what's up. Now, what are you waiting for? Find fortune in an epic evolving adventure by downloading Hawk today for free. Link in the description and pinned comment and get cool items to start your adventure. See you all on the battlefield. Thank you, Hawk, for sponsoring today's video. Let's go!